Hello, welcome to chapter four. Today we're going to be looking at probability models. And uh, the big idea in probability is that chance behavior is unpredictable in the short run, but it, it's, it has a regular and predictable pattern in the long run. So uh, this is what makes casinos so exciting and such a big business for the casinos themselves. Uh, they make a fortune out of this idea because it's very exciting to think you might win some money on the next hand. But if you stay at the table long enough, you're going to lose all of it. Uh, so um, one of the big ideas is you have to figure out your sample space. And it's usually denoted with a capital S. This is the set of all outcomes in a particular situation. Now, an event is any outcome or a set of outcomes that's a subset of the whole sample space. Um, we'll do some more examples of this in a little bit that hopefully will make more sense. Um, this is one example. There are 13 marbles below. Assume these are three-dimensional. Uh, six, seven green and six orange. If I were to pick a marble at random, what is the probability that it's green? Now, uh, to, to use probability uh, terminology, we would write probability green is going to be the number of the green over the number of the sample space. So our whole sample space is everything that's inside of this rectangle, which is 13 marbles. That goes in our denominator. Now the number of green is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or I could have just looked up there or remembered and uh, seen that that's 7. So what this is saying is the probability of green is 7 over 13. Now roll one die. I always think this is a funny word. Uh, it's the singular for dice. Um, but if you roll one die, what is the sample space? So the sample space will denote with a capital S, and usually there's a curly bracket because uh, we're going to list a set of numbers. So if you roll one die, you could get a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, or a 6. Now it's possible uh, you can have different events. You might have an event that you roll an even number. Or you could have an event that you roll a number that's five or greater, something like that. Those would be events, which are samples or subsets of our sample space. Now here it says, I assume you roll one die, find the probability that you get a number that is greater than one. So our probability is that something, we'll call this random variable x, is greater than one. So if we look at our sample space, uh, greater than one, that's would be this one, two, three, four, five. So our event has five items in it out of our total sample space, which has six. So five, six is our probability. Uh, find the sample space when you roll two dice. Now dice pop up a lot in probability. So uh, it's good to know how to develop this. Uh, the first die, and sometimes they have them colored, but uh, in this case they don't. So the first die, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And your second die, we can do on this left-hand side, where we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, uh, the sample space kind of depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes you'll just do like one comma one if the sample space is just looking for what you'll get out. Uh, other times they'll look for the sum. So if it's a sum, you would put like two. If you sum these together, I'd get three, four, five, six, seven, and then three. And I think you know how to add from here on out, fill this in, and so on and so on. Um, and so uh, you can have a sample space of 36 different outcomes. Each of these we call an outcome, one and one, two and one, and we could put the sum in the middle if you wanted, so you can sum them up. So uh, there's 36 outcomes. Each event, like if I said roll a five, how many times could the sum be five? You get one and four, two and three, three and two, and four and one. All right. So now 
if you assume we roll two dice, what is the probability that the sum is greater than 10? So how we write this in probability notation, probability that my x is greater than 10. So if I look back at my sample space, I see I have 12 here, 11 here, 10 here, and then it goes 9, 8, and so on. If I go here, that's 9, 10, 11, and here is 10. And our question says greater than 10, so I actually kind of made a mistake. We don't want these ones with 10. So it looks like there is three, uh, three values out of the total of 36. Now we could leave it like this, or we could reduce it to 112. I'm not too picky at either of those. Now this next one says, what is the probability that the sum is greater than or equal to 7? So if we go back, greater than or equal to 7, 7 starts here, with 6 and going up. We have 8, 7, set, uh, 9, 8, 7, 7, and there's 7 there. So it's this line and below, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So our value would be 21 out of 36, which we could divide by 3, and we would have 7 twelfths. All right. Now try your own.